there's something romantic about an instrument with vibrating parts before a lot of keyboards went digital. I think it's easier to identify and connect with an analog instrument or an electrical mechanical instrument. Uh, once you get into the digital realms, things start to feel kind of like you're playing a computer. You know, most people are unfamiliar with these instruments, but they really are on everyone's favorite records from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. I started working on my own instruments about 15 years ago and uh, started this shop about 10 years ago. I just happened to be kind of the guy around town that started doing this. It was just a hobby that developed into a full-time job, and now there's four of us. I mostly play bass guitar. Uh, Matt Blocker here at the shop has got the best piano chops. So this is a Fender Rhodes right here. This is a Mark I stage model. This Specialized, we're one of very few. We ship our fully restored instruments internationally. Uh, right now we have one going to Greece, uh, down to Argentina, Australia. We have people coming to us from anywhere in the central United States, from Louisiana out to Colorado and Ohio. Let me do a little Jackson 5 since we're like pretty close to the hometown, you know. There seems to be a real boom in uh, the used music instrument market right now. The digital sound is usually, there's such an emphasis on perfection and these instruments all sound slightly different from each other and they all have unique quirks to them. Yeah, this is a Hammond organ made right here in Chicago. A world famous instrument, integral part of gospel music. There's all these wheels in the back called tone wheels and they're spinning at a certain speed. The fact that they're spinning at the same speed all the time makes it not be able to go out of tune ever, which is pretty amazing. That's a big milestone in the invention of this. This is a clavinet. It's a, a string instrument. These keys just push down on strings. They pinch them kind of like a guitar would. COVID for us has been surprisingly strong. I mean, a lot of people are getting their instruments repaired. A lot of people are purchasing instruments that we've restored for them. We're in some ways busier than ever. This is the spring cleaning zone. It's really fulfilling to work on musical instruments and bring them back to life. So, you know, it's easy to fall asleep at night.